whole subterranean setup down here, the kind of things you people have been doing, it figures you'd want to hide them under a rock. No offense, Colonel Andrews. I'm flattered you know my name. I know more than that. I know that little pep talk you gave on television was a pack of lies. You're trying to cover up the fact that we've been invaded. Todd told you that story, didn't he? <laughs> he was farther gone than we thought. Huh? He's told it so many times, I guess he started to believe it himself. What are you talking about? But he never managed to convince anyone else before. Get off it, Colonel. Todd and I aren't a couple of kids. We didn't imagine those bullets your goons were shooting They at. were ordered to apprehend a mentally unstable deserter. There was nothing more to it than that. I'm sure you'd be a much happier person if there had been some kind of government cover-up. The saddest part of this whole sorry business is that one of the best men to serve under my command may be mentally incapacitated for the rest of his life. It was during the recent maneuvers. He just snapped. It happens sometimes to a soldier. Oh, yeah? Then let me see him. Where are you keeping him? My friend, I'm beginning to get the impression you don't believe me. You bet I don't. You're forgetting something. Am I? How inconvenient. I've been talking with your computer. Eve told me everything, Colonel. <laughs> so you've been talking to Eve. I've got some disappointing news for you. You see, we wanted the Modat back here, in one piece. And quite frankly, you weren't proving very cooperative in that regard. So we manufactured Eve's emergency communication to bring you and the Modat to us. Are you trying to tell me that all that stuff about the memory matrix and, and the invasion Pure was... Pure science fiction to lure you here. There is no memory matrix, no invasion. But I saw the fighting. That's what you were supposed to think. What you actually saw was the video emulator at work. It produces a montage of computer-generated images that are no closer to reality than a cartoon, if somewhat more realistic. Hey, I'm no dummy. I may not know who to believe or what this is all about, but I do know there's something fishy going on and I'm sick of being caught in the middle. I need some time to figure out this mess and I want your men to leave me alone. Now that you've surrendered the Modat, they'll never bother you again. You're crazy. I'm not surrendering anything. Wait, what are you doing? Come on, friend. Be sensible. Hand the bike over. Get out of it while you can. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Nothing's gonna happen to me as long as I got the bike and the film we made of it. So others are involved in this with you. I'm warning you, stay away from them, you hear me? Just stay away, Colonel, and the next time I'll do more than part your hair. Simulant, you have performed well. The young fool is now so confused that he poses little danger to us. Nonetheless, he and his friends must be neutralized. <laughs>